Hundreds of thousands of people fled Russia after it invaded Ukraine, and now the countries that took them in are seeing a boost in their economies. Here's a summary of the article. Authenticate users, apply security measures, and prevent spam and abuse, and if you do not want us and our partners to use cookies and personal data for these additional purposes, click Reject All. If you would like to customize your choices, click Manage Privacy Settings. You can change your choices at any time by clicking on the Privacy and Cookie Settings or Privacy Dashboard links on our sites and apps. This post received a score of 13,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Brain drain is a real thing. The suffering it causes will last. Russia is fucked even if, victorious, that would be a real-life Pyrrhic victory. Russia was fucked since the 1990s when Yeltsin squandered away the chances of actually becoming a prosperous and free country. Most of these refugees are both highly skilled and highly motivated, and probably willing to integrate in order to avoid ever going back. Win-win for everyone except Russia. And they obviously already have money if they could afford to move that quickly. Let's just hope they leave their love for Putin back in Russia. Greater than let's just hope they leave their love for Putin back in Russia. From countless headlines and other news reports I've seen since the invasion of Ukraine in early 2022, I would say a significant chunk of that diaspora actually supports Russia invading Ukraine. They just don't want to find themselves in a combat zone and risk getting killed. A classic example of the expression, chicken hawk. Frankly, I'd be leery of seeing my country suddenly having a big number of Russians roaming our streets. I've met close to 20 Russians from 20, 40 years old in the last decade here in the UK, and they are literally all left-wing, highly educated, and anti-fascism. I feel super weird hearing the recent generalizations about the country because there is so obviously a large contingent of people who aggressively buck the trend. There's a lot of Russians you probably aren't going to meet or hang out w the Putin lovers due to various unconscious filters like your social group, work culture or whatever. There is also likely a very large demographic shift between the people that were leaving Russia 5 to 10 years ago and the sort of people leaving Russia in the last year. The number of people leaving Russia exploded which obviously means that a large majority of them left with, don't want to be drafted, as the deciding factor, and probably typically the main factor. My team got a really good QA engineer. She put in her visa paperwork to come to the US right after the first Crimean invasion and has been in the States for a few years now. She has no plans to ever return. We got a new VP of tech. I think he bounced in 2014. Really nice guy. Well, a huge chunk of our eng is Ukrainian and I'm Russian-American. It's a party here. I work with Russians and Ukrainians at a tech company as well. I have no problem with any of them, but it must be a bit awkward when they have to work together. I knew two who argued because the Ukrainian was a shitty manager who had her husband spy and harass some of us. The Ukrainian-Russian said he was glad Crimea was getting invaded. It was really awkward. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.